Ask the producer to pipe this into the Clippers locker room so I can talk to you, James. I hope you're taking notes. I'm telling you in advance, you're welcome for the wisdom I'm about to spew. Because, listen, I get on my knees every night and pray for someone to believe in me like Daryl Borey believed in you. You wanted a certain coach, they brought in Mike D'Antoni. You want to play a certain style, they played it. You wanted Dwight Howard, they brought him in and got rid of him when you were tired of him. You wanted Chris Paul, they brought him in and got rid of him when you were tired of him. They brought in your old friend Russell Westbrook. You want to go to Vegas on off days? They looked away. You wanted the team to stay over so you could go out at night. They changed the schedule, and it didn't work. And you know what? You said, I'm going to break up with my whoopee. Not good enough. I see the bright lights in New York. I want to go there. My old pal, Kevin Durant. It's going to work, the big three. And all after one year, you won it out. You realized, oh, my gosh, I took this guy for granted, the guy that believed in me. I went back with Daryl Morey. They traded Ben Simmons for you. How did they pull that off? And you know what? You went there, and you got a partner who got the MVP. He won the MVP. And what did you say afterwards? You said, they didn't hand me the reins. You're the point guard. You were holding the reins. And what did you do when you had the reins? You scored nine points in game seven against Boston. You blew a 3-2 series lead. So they co they fired their coach. Not good enough. You broke up with your guy believed in you again. You said, the bright lights of L.A., that's where I want to go. Let's see if that works. Listen, James, have you ever had those friends who had bad roommates? Over and over, they complained about their bad roommates. This guy's terrible. The bad roommate here. They never thought, being self-aware enough, that they're the bad roommate. They're the problem. Hey, James, you're the problem. <laughs> if this doesn't work this year in this system with this team, then you're going to go and point fingers at everybody else, and you're going to go back home, and you're going to start swiping right for another team, and there's not going to be anybody left. Because, James, you're not the beard. You're not the system. You're the problem. Oh.